So we're catching up with uh, George Alicobi after he's uh, completed one of his academy training sessions. Now, George, we'll we're, we're come on to talk about the academy in a minute if we can. Uh, but first of all, let's start off with the, the season that kind of never was. Uh, it started in October, of course, got, um, got cancelled uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, from a player's perspective, how, how do you feel about that? Obviously, you do all the preparation to go into a season. You play a third of it or a quarter of it, I suppose it was. Uh, and then it, got, it gets cancelled. How, how does that feel from a, a playing perspective? That's a great question. Um, first and foremost, as a player, you, you're happy to be healthy. Um, there is more to, to life than just, than just football. Um, we are all aware as professionals what's going on with, with the COVID um, situation, um, not just in, in the UK itself, but also worldwide. So it's very important to, to bear that in mind. But um, when the season was obviously said we needed to, to start the season and it was going to finish in sometime in, in June or sometime in um, March, April, May, um, you're looking forward to the, to the whole season to, to obviously plan how you're going to go through the first quarter, um, halfway through the season, um, and then the second phase of the season, um, how you gonna, how you gonna execute execute that really as as an individual, but also collectively as a club, as a football as a football team. Um, it, so it was frustrating finding out that you know clubs were voting to actually um, end the season prematurely, and and it's frustrating when that decision was finally made and we all received um, obviously the email from from the club and. To tell us that we, the season was no more. We can we can continue with the season as as of um, immediate effect. So that itself is very frustrating because I'll speak for myself as as an individual as a player. I prepare myself fully from when one season is over. Give myself a little break and then I carry on training to keep myself um, relatively active. But more so for me, it's about healthy to stay healthy, um, and when you do that throughout the season, which I thought um, we started okay, uh, but no one wins the league in, say, no one wins the league in December or January when the season was um, was, was, was ended, um, and it was, it was quite frustrating that we couldn't get over the line at the, um, the last game of the season, and it was, so it's frustrating as an individual. A bit of a difficult one as well because I think, as you say, we we'd started the season very brightly and then obviously we had those two periods of self-isolation in, in December. The league was then suspended for two weeks. So towards that latter end, it was it was so bitty, wasn't it? Because there was no chance to come back, get that training, get into that match preparation. Yeah, it's, 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 all about, it's all about momentum and building momentum. Um, and when, when you keep having the stop start, Psychologically, it takes its toll on on individuals. Not everyone is mentally equipped to to deal with scenarios like that. Like you said, we had two um, self isolation periods where we only had to had to train via via Zoom. And you know, believe me or not, those trainings are good, but they are not as effective as what we do out here on the football pitch together as a team, um, where there's a structure being put in place for us to be able to. To train and get better and develop as a team, but more so um, gel as, 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 as a team. Um, it was really, really frustrating after that period, and then we had the, the two weeks suspension. Um, again, it takes its toll psychologically, it plays on, on people's minds, and, and it was very, very frustrating seeing, seeing and just watching and let other people dictate which is out of your control. There's nothing you can do how, how the season is going to go. Um, and it was, a, it was a waiting game, really, to, to see what was going to happen. You read stuff in the press um, saying that the season was going to end prematurely, but you really, as an individual, you really I didn't really want to go too deep into that. I kept believing that, yeah, the season will continue, will crack on, and... <laughs> The, the more the more you think about it, it becomes it becomes um, it becomes clear that we weren't going to carry on, and eventually um, that decision was was taken out of our hands, um, and we all have to adhere to to the decision and respect it. 
Now you mentioned uh, health and fitness, um, so I, I think I know the answer to this question, but let's chuck it at you anyway. I, I don't suppose in the last four weeks you've been sitting at home watching daytime telly. I imagine you've, you've still been uh, you've still been out there doing your thing. Yeah, it's not, um, really. Don't get me wrong. It's all about, like I said, it's all about staying healthy for me, and it's about training smartly. Also, not going too crazy. I know my body as an individual and. Um, there's quite a long, long, long window before we even begin to think of when the next season is going to start. Um, so for me, it's all about being healthy. It's all about keeping some sort of um, a base fitness, not losing everything completely. So keep it relatively at 70-75% um, of, um, of, of, of fitness. For myself, um, individually, I've not been sitting at home. <laughs> it's, it's quite, <laughs> it's crazy because um, it's, it's, it's in my DNA to, to always stay one step ahead, to always be, you know, one or two steps ahead of the game. Um, when you've been in, I've been in this game for such a, such a long time and I know um, nothing is, is given. Um, you got to earn it professionally and everything you do in life also, you have to earn it. And um, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't mean you don't take the rest time as you have to have the balance right of um, training and also the recovery. Um, so I tend to, to have those balance right within myself, but also it's about not sitting at home and just watching TV or going on Netflix, like you say, and, and watch, you know, series. Um, if I'm not if I'm not training, I'm trying to be as productive as I can behind the scenes. Um, you know, trying to to perfect my coaching skills as an as an individual, um, as a young coach learning the game. Um, and yeah, it's it's exciting, but again, it's frustrating that we've got all this time in our hands to be able to really not be productive. In my in my preference, I love us to be out here playing and competing on a Saturday and on a Tuesday night, but that's been taken away from us. So um, I try to, to, I try to bend my energy in a very, very productive way and I'll be smart about it. Physical health has always been uh, very important to you, but how, how much do you equate on the mental health side of it as well? You, know, you, you must be, they talk about all the time, you know, footballers, men in particular as well, we're not, uh, not the best at showing our feelings at times. So, is is mental health important to you? And have you ever you know have you come across other footballers that have perhaps turned to you as a more experienced head and said, what, what you know, how, how do you get through a time like this or a period like this? Yeah, a lot, a lot, um, a lot. You know, you just go. I always say to them, you can only control what you can control, and forget about what you can't control. Control the controllables and and the the, the other. You can leave it aside. Um, that decision wasn't asked to, to be made. It was made, and I know people struggle differently. They struggle psychologically, mentally. It's very, very, um, it's very, very tough for us. Um, not just for us, but in this country, but also in Europe, in Asia, in in Africa. So it's it's a worldwide it's a worldwide thing, um, and you know we talk about young people. Or you talk about men not showing their feelings. Yeah, it's 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 tough from time to time, but you gotta look at it as um, how I deal with it is life has just been put on a pause. Really, um, nothing has been taken away from us. At some stage, we'll gradually get back into some sort of um, normality, and we'll enjoy what we normally enjoy. It's about being adaptable. It's about adjusting to to what's going on now with the with the COVID. Um, scenario or situation um, but again it's important it's important to always stay positive it's important to to make sure um, when to make sure when um, when you're feeling a bit a bit low you know open up about it there's no shame in it um, speak to to whoever you feel comfortable to speak to about about the scenario or about what your feelings are and there's no there's no harm in that and you just realize that when you have those conversations, those open conversations, it takes a whole lot of um, weight off your shoulders as, as, as individuals or as humans. And um, try, to, try to always put yourself in a happy place, really. Um, if you love reading, read some books. If you love playing some music, play some music. If that's what makes you happy, have a little bit of a dance. Um, 
if you love to drink from time to time don't go don't go crazy with it um, <laughs> lay your head down um, it's, it's all part of life um, have it have a few drinks and and be, be smart about it um, but it's, it's, it's life you know life sometimes can be all plain sailing um, and this is just one of the hurdles I know a lot of us um, in society are struggling to to get our heads around um, people losing loved ones as well which is which is um, which is sad sad to see um, it's not it's not nice people losing jobs um, so there's a lot going on in, 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 in the society we find ourselves in today um, but we have to hold on to those little positives that we can take um, just hold on and be patient and hopefully um, things will be back to normal and going back to 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 the question you ask about you know people reaching out has anyone reached out to me there's yeah there's a lot of people that reach out to me and you know I tend to well I'm gonna put it on on, on camera there I call myself um, a consultant and um, because of what I've been through in my life in terms of um, the psychological stuff losing my dad going through all the hardships I went through um, has I can say equip me to be able to deal with with um, circumstances like this or with them um, scenarios like this um, so uh, I, I have good conversations obviously I can't disclose the individuals because it, it won't be fair on them um, but yeah and they feel better for, for having these conversations and I always tell them one thing it's very very I admire them for opening up to myself to, to be able to help them out um, so it's always important if you're feeling down if you're feeling you're having negative thoughts you're struggling mentally open up about it there's no shame in it speak to someone that you're close to speak to someone that you trust and open up about your feelings and you will just find out that you become you become happier and that burden can be shared shared with with two or more people which is which is good well if people take nothing more from that interview or this interview then let, let it be that Academy, let's move on to them, because that, uh, that, of course, has got you back to the gala, has got you back on the pitch, doing what you love, of course. Um, how much of that is, is, is a great outlook for you to not only hone those coaching skills, but you know, just a bit of normality for you know, two, three hours a week? Yeah, it's, it's fantastic to be, to be back down with, um, with the Academy boys, to have them out on the football pitch, just to see their smiles alone brings a lot of um, satisfaction. But it's not just a satisfaction, it's also... Um, being productive with them, um, from they've missed a lot of a lot of um, sessions this season. It's about their development as young as young men. Um, so it's, it's it's very important that they come out here, and I'm glad that we've had two weeks training under our belt now. Um, it's not the same when you do sessions on via, via Zoom, um, but when you do it live, obviously you can you can tell, you can show and you can lead by example whilst you are there with them and try to to develop and um, develop them sorry in the in the right way um, so it's about their aspirations and their motivations what 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 do they aspire to become and what motivates them it's about understanding um, them so as as players but also first it's about understanding them as 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 men young men before you can be able to to help develop them as players. So it's very important that we've got them back here and training and yeah, um, driving on the motorway back and through. It's also been it's also been good. <laughs> yeah, um, coming over the bridge, um, it's, it's been it's been worth it. And it's it's exciting being being like you say passing on the knowledge and, and being out here, being productive with the players, um, and helping them um, develop to their with with their future careers. Obviously, you've um, you started quite a lot with, with a lot of them in in September. We've lost a couple of months, of course, through through lockdown. But uh, yeah. you know, are you pleased with the progression that they're making? Yeah, yeah, I am myself and 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 um, the other coaches, Brad, Bradley, Billy. Um, we are quite pleased. We understand if we've missed about three months plus of um, training um, of develop development time, so it's it's all all about taking it gradually with with the players um, to condition them right and also try to implement new new things that we've we've sat and, and talked about in our meetings of how we want to to go forward with the academy and it's it's good that you know we're out here the three of us doing it to 
to push them and push them relatively um not too crazy just yet um it's about building momentum it's about um taking it one day at a time not running too far ahead of ourselves but the players have taken well to it um they enjoy being out here with us and to be honest um yeah when they train they seem to want more uh, you might look over over there on the pitch now there's some of them still out there um you know improving on themselves this is their time they're trying to improve on on their on, on, on their strengths and also their weaknesses so it's very it's very important that um they are out here which which is which we are all we are all glad to have them back we'll second that one george always a pleasure to catch up and uh, hopefully we'll see you again very soon thank you very much thank you thanks for having me